Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Money Moz episode 26. Uh, nothing to write up on the big whiteboard this time, so thought we'd try it sitting down. Uh, hopefully this stays in place. It's covering up some stuff I'd, some notes I'd written out for a special project. We'll see if it falls off and uh, reveals any secrets during the video. I want to cover today something I think is going to lead to a lot of concern and, and a lot of questions to me, so hopefully I can answer some of those in advance. And here's why. Uh, as you can see in this picture, uh, Samsung on the 25R, and this is a 25R out of the Malaysia factory. You can see the M to the right of 25R indicating Malaysia. They now have a fire hazard warning uh, not to carry in your pocket, which is always good advice, and not to be used for e-cigarette or vaping use. Now, you might be thinking, hey, it, this might be a fake, something like that. I trust the source it came from. Um, it's all the same printing. It it looks and everything else like it's from Samsung and fits in some of the things I'm hearing about that Samsung is doing. Last August, what also had happened is you can see in this image I'll put up now is this warning actually appeared as early as last August. But in this image, you can see that there's two different styles of printing. The warning looks different than the normal printing that they have for the Samsung 25R, Samsung 30Q uh, printing that they have on the wrap. But there was a possibility that could have been put on by the reseller or the distributor, and it wasn't Samsung itself. But this latest thing looks like it's all Samsung. It's also rumored that Samsung is um, requesting through letters that vendors in the UK stop selling their sales loose. And this is what LG has been doing here in the United States. And I'm pretty sure if Samsung's doing it in the EU, in UK, uh, that they're going to be doing it here too eventually. And here's an example of the warnings that LG is now adding to a lot of the cells, or at least the ones they think will be using. And you can see they have the normal uh, batch codes and, and model numbers, but they add a separate uh, warning there about it, the hazards of, uh, of using it. So does this mean that LG and Samsung batteries are no longer safe to use? Nothing's changed. All these, all the batteries we use were never meant to be used outside a fully protected battery pack, both physically and electrically. And it, we use them at our own risk. This is this has been LG and Samsung's and, and all the big manufacturers' stance right from the beginning. Nothing has changed in these batteries except the warning is being added to the batteries themselves because of incidents that have occurred and lawsuits i feel it's because of the lawsuits that these companies have been dragged into by people who have gotten hurt because the battery caught fire or exploded typically because of uh, a problem with either a device or got short-circuited in the charger or they left it in their pocket or something like that so why is samsung and lg doing this now after all this time i think it goes back to the lawsuits to the exposure that these companies are getting unwanted uh, from people being injured by what we've seen in the news well, last year and the year before, the accidents that occurred. Now, what can this mean for us? Well, LG and Samsung cells could become less available if they're talking to vendors and making requests, however insistent they might be, but if they're requesting that these companies stop selling these loose cells instead of battery packs, then that could be uh, fewer places that we can purchase them from. And I think uh, Murata, who bought Sony's stuff, uh, Sony's battery operations, a lot of Sony's battery operations in 2017, I'm guessing Murata is going to do the same thing to start to limit availability to what, what they've wanted all along for us to not ever be able to buy these. And that, that goes for uh, flashlight users, uh, some drone users, power bank users where you can replace the cells, any application where you can use round 18650, 2700, 21700, 18350, 26650, any cells like that, loose round metal can cells, were not supposed to be sold separately. Now, the big manufacturers are only the 18650, 2700, and 21700. So that's what you'll primarily be seeing these warnings and cease and desist type things uh, concerning. The big problem, even for vendors who don't uh, receive encouragement from a, a manufacturer to stop selling them is that if these cells have warnings on them, the vendors can't sell them. You can't, you can't say, Hey, uh, you can, but it, it's a lot of liability in, uh, let's say a shop, a vaping shop carrying a battery with a warning not to be used for vaping. Uh, if there's an accident with that user, that shop's in a lot of trouble because they sold a battery not intended for the use. 
uh, that they knew it was going to be used for. For battery-only vendors uh, who, who sell to a variety of different uh, communities, the flashlight community and vaping communities and their, and their others, okay, they can issue a warning, say, hey, don't use it for this, don't use it for that. And a lot of you have messaged me saying, hey, I'm seeing these warnings now on these websites. Is this, has anything changed? Is anything new? No. This is just saying, look, here's what the situation's been all along. We're just being much more proactive about telling you about it, and you have to decide what you're going to do with these cells or not. Now, the public always be available from China in, in one form or another. So that's always an option for, for those of us in the community who and the other communities who know about this. Uh, there's going to be a large number of people who have no idea. You can go to some places in China and get these versus uh, going to a vendor in the United States or in the UK or the EU. What could all this lead to? If all the manufacturers, the big manufacturers start doing this, well, internal battery only devices or purchasing from China or Molly cells. Thankfully, there is a major manufacturer making very, very good cells. They've been doing it for a very long time. The Molly cell P42A 21700 and the Molly cell P26A 18650, those would be available. They're they openly embrace the vaping community, other communities who want to use their cells loose. So that's a terrific option there. The last option would be the cells that are made in China from the smaller factories. Uh, Young Dali New Energy Company, who makes the cells for Aspire, e-cigarette company. Uh, and there are other factories out there. That's going to be another option. Now, a lot of the battery rewrapping companies or battery wrapping companies are using these China cells because of more consistent supply anyway, because it has been hard sometimes to get hold of LGs or Samsungs or, or Murata cells because it's they aren't authorized purchases. They're, they're getting them off the secondary markets, the gray markets. So what's the bottom line? Changes are coming, but that doesn't mean you should run out right now and stock up on 10 years worth of batteries. They don't store well. <laughs> you just can't store lithium ion batteries for 10 years. You know, okay, if you want to even get maybe LGs or Samsungs, if you're worried about it, get you know, your next two year supply now. I, I recommend rotating through them. Don't just put some in the closet, leave them there, because then you have to take them out every few months and maybe charge them back up a little bit or something. Just rotate through them as you use them. But then what do you do after that? So you know, don't go out and buy 50 or something because you want to be set up for the next 10 years. We have time to see what's going to start to happen and how it happens. Certainly anything that I learn, I'm going to relay to you. And, and any recommendations I have are, are, again, merely just based on my personal opinion, based on limited information, excuse me, information that we have already. But you saw the warnings that are being added. And I've been hearing from quite a few sources about the letters and encouragement that the vendors are getting to stop selling these cells. And I think it's, it was inevitable anyway, with, with the injuries that happened last year and the year before, that these companies are going to go, enough is enough. We don't want to be named in these lawsuits anymore. You were never supposed to have these things. We're getting more proactive to try to stop it. So the Molly cells, there are other cells from China or you can stock up for a while, and who knows what other products or, or options might come along to make it easier for us to uh, select the batteries that we want to use. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.